Hi folks, this is Max from HCC1Root.com. Uh, for this week's ROM of the week, check out uh, Viper 1 ROM. Uh, this is a pretty cool ROM. Um, probably one of the best uh, sense-based ROMs that also you can remove uh, most of the sense. Uh, you get Android 4.2.2, uh, Sense 5.0 there. And uh, you can install Nova Launcher. Uh, or Apex Launcher, which it comes with, um, to get rid of completely with Sense. A uh, nicely red themed, I really love it. I've been using uh, Viper ROMs on some of my older phones, like um, like the Evo 4G LTE, uh, the original Evo 4G, also Evo 3D. Um, they they usually have one of the best, you know, Sense based ROMs that's also customizable. Customizable. Um, it is pretty much like stock, but with a lot of cool stuff. Um, you'll see, uh, I've got uh, brightness here. I can easily go kind of, uh, kind of a gingerbread style. So you don't actually have to go into uh, settings. So you can adjust your uh, bright brightness there, and also nice uh, screenshot there. And you can also customize this. And also, if you go on the left side, it will show you um, your notifications. Right side is your quick toggle settings as default. And you can even set um, your favorite uh, you know, notification image there. I just set one as an example. Um, but that's kind of nice to see through. And also, let's go into the heart of this ROM, uh, is the Venom Tweaks here. And uh, with Venom Tweaks, and don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM. Um, they've been working really hard on this. So I'll have uh, donate links on my site. And status bar, you can do a bunch of stuff here. I'm not gonna go over all of them, like clock, I've, I used a clock to center clock it, um, notification count, a ton of stuff. You can even shake your phone um, to uh, close your notification pull down. I'm not sure I would use that much, but it's there. And also colors, you can change a bunch of colors customize it just the way you want to. I mean, the number of customizations you can do on this uh, ROM is excellent. And also I've got AOSP lock screen here, you can enable that. Um, some of it you might have to reboot. For example, if I turn it off, it will show you that quick reboot needed. So make sure you reboot um, to get all of those uh, working. And here with the buttons, I've changed my home button because I didn't really like it. You can change the long press, double, uh, press. I've changed it so uh, do a long press. It'll show my recents and check out the recents. It looks really cool. You get a kind of a um, bird's eye view of nine different screens, so you can easily go there. And also, I've changed my double tap to Google Now. That's kind of I how the way I like it. Um, sort of you know the defaults Android. And let's go. Actually, I'm getting confused here. There we go. Let me go back to Venom Tweaks here. So that you can set, and also you can set all the back buttons. This is great for customizing exactly what you want to do. You can even have it, um, you know, have it uh, open up your camera, all that good stuff. And also LMT Pi Launcher um, is sort of a Venom Pi now. Uh, they took the LMT Pi Launcher code and uh, kind of, you know, enabled it right into the ROM, so it's all there. You don't have to uh, install it separately. You can enable Sony Bravey Engine that can give you better uh, images for your videos. Home Power Screenshot, you can enable that here. Um, a ton of stuff you can do, as you can see here. And also Advanced, I wouldn't mess with that too much. Custom Boot Animation, you can set it here. Um, down Animation also. CPU, if you're using a, um, a kernel that supports overclocking, you can overclock it here. So after you install a new custom kernel, you can go ahead and um, use the Venom tweaks here to tweak your CPU without using an app like Set CPU. And also, if you're using a kernel that supports sweep to wake, double tap to wake, um, pocket detection, all of this stuff, uh, button line notification, which I really like. Um, that is, you know, you'll you'll get the notification along with your button lights when you get notification. It looks really cool. Not that useful, but very cool looking. But if you you know install a custom kernel that supports these, you'll be able to turn them on and off easily. So very nice ROM and super fast. It is super fast. Uh, you know, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM week in Viper One. 
uh, one of the best ROMs, and uh, it's version 2.1.0. I've actually been following it since version 1.0, and uh, some of it was buggy, but now it's super stable. Um, definitely the dust has settled. This is like the right time to you know, install it. You can install this and use it for like six months without upgrading your uh, custom ROM. I mean, it's that good. If you're into Sense um, and you want to run the best Sense ROM, this is definitely it. I don't think you can get any better than this. And uh, the next step is really finding the awesome kernel that will give you the best performance and battery life along with this ROM. And uh, that's what I'll be working on in the next few days. And I'll have an update uh, which kernel works best with this ROM. I've been testing a couple out, um, but some of them, they don't actually give you performance enhancements. I overclocked with one of the kernels, custom kernels, and it actually gave me worse score on the N22 and Quadrant. I was like, why the hell am I installing this kernel if it's not improving the performance? Anyway, I'm going to be trying a bunch of different ones, and if you have any good ones, um, you know, that you've tried, don't forget to leave in the comment section. Uh, for now, that's it. Um, check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Viper 1 is awesome. Probably the best ROM out there right now if you want to go sense space. Uh, if you want to go with total ASP, I would still say the best is Google Play Edition, uh, Android 4.3. It is That one is also so smooth and fast. I think that one's actually faster than sense space ROMs uh, on the benchmarks, or about the same, but. Um, definitely, Viper 1, you can't go wrong with this, you know, for like the next six months. So try it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have an ACC1, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at acc1root.com. We update you once a week with ROM Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you want this case, um, you can get it at cruiserlight.com. Um, I have links. I have uh, links to my review of this. So you can check that out too. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay hoi on Android.